Just like the Wenchuan earthquake that struck southwestern China, earthquakes above a magnitude of eight have brought destruction, pain, and suffering to people in many parts of the world. Wherever they strike, they bring mass casualties and enormous loss of property. The tragic scenes reflect the almighty and intimidating power of nature. Nature, like a powerful monster, can, with a slight wave of an arm, cause high-rise buildings made of reinforced concrete to collapse like toy bricks. So a humble village that has stood up to this monster could be considered an architectural miracle. Such a village exists. It's called Taoping Ancient Chang Village, and it's found in Li County, Sichuan Province. Records reveal that the ancient Chang people have faced three major earthquakes since the beginning of the 20th century. The magnitude 7.5 Dushi earthquake in 1933, the magnitude 7.2 Songpan Pingwu earthquake in 1976, and the magnitude 8 Wenchuan earthquake on May the 12th, 2008. In the Wenchuan earthquake, while Taoping survived, all the other villages in the area were reduced to rubble. Taoping ancient Chang village lies just 20 kilometers away from the epicenter of the Wenchuan earthquake. Yu Xingmei, a member of the Chang ethnic group, still remembers the scene clearly. Gang 就是世界末日就要来了，我真的很害怕。Yet the only damage suffered by the village was to the parapet wall on top of the ancient watchtower. Its collapse was due to the architectonic phenomenon known as the whipping effect, in which the part nearest to the top of a building is most likely to be destroyed during an earthquake. However, the main body of the village and even the two-meter-wide lanes and the underground water network survived intact. Not one of the Chang houses and watchtowers collapsed. China is a country of many nationalities. In the great Chinese family, the Chang people are one of the most ancient nationalities. Oracle bone inscriptions from 3,000 years ago record that the Chang people were living mainly in northwest China and the Central Plains. Later, a branch of the nationality was incorporated into the Tibetan ethnic group and another into the Han nationality. The Chang people today are the descendants of the ancient Chang nationality. Theirs was a turbulent history before they finally settled in the area of the Minjiang River and Minshan Mountain. The earliest Taoping Chang village was built over 2,000 years ago in 111 BC. Taoping is a typical Chang village in that it was built with mountains to the north and facing water to the south. The buildings are laid out according to a rigid design. 
built of stone, they embody a structural hierarchy. The houses are called Zhuang houses, Wo Jie in the Chang language. The ancient Chang village has eight gates radiating from the watchtowers. The eight gates are linked to 13 alleys, which form a comprehensive communications network. The village also has a network of underground water, which uses covered wells. People can remove the slate covers to draw water from the wells. Alleys, groundwater network and roofs combine to form a comprehensive defense system. The first sight visitors get of Taoping village is of three ancient Chang watchtowers standing abreast. They, like the ancient and delicate Chang houses that surround them, withstood the onslaught of the earthquake. After surviving the wind, rain and earthquakes, for the past 2,000 years, Taoping ancient Chang village still stands proud today. It's known as a wonder in the history of architecture. It's also known as the mysterious fortress of the East and the most intact living fossil of ancient Chang architecture. <laughs> So, how exactly did the ancient village survive the great earthquake? And can the architects of today learn anything from the secrets of the ancient Chang builders? In surviving the earthquake, Taoping village is indebted to its unique landform and topography. If seismic waves move along a mountain range, which part of the mountain, the top, the valley, or the mountain side, can best withstand the force? Interestingly, in the Chang village, some of the buildings are situated on the mountain top and some on the mountain side, but none are built in the valley. So why did the Chang people ignore the broad and even valley with its abundant arable land? The first reason was the difficulty in defending the valley. However, they gradually discovered there were other advantages associated with their choice and the tradition developed among the ancient Chang people of living in stone houses located beside mountains. Traditional Chang villages were often built on a steep mountainside or at the mountain's top instead of on the flood plains beside a river. Because of this, the Chang nationality were popularly known as the people above the clouds. Taoping ancient Chang village is located on a mountainside. The Zaganao River, the main tributary of the Mingjiang, runs eastward across the village. Thanks to its location, the village is protected from the northerly wind in the winter and receives adequate sunshine. More importantly, the broad and gentle terraces mitigate the effects of the major earthquakes that strike the area once every few decades. When seismic waves move forward along the mountain range, the valley and the mountain top receive the impact first. The valley, with its broad expanse of soft and flat land, absorbs the force of the earthquake and deadens its power 
which significantly reduces the impact on the mountainside. Even buildings made of reinforced concrete collapsed during the earthquake. So, was there something miraculous about the construction materials used in the Taoping ancient Chang village? The Chang people, like other ancient nationalities, knew how to take advantage of nature to satisfy their need to survive. The two mountains beside the village are a source of common but nevertheless priceless construction materials. One mountain has abundant rubble, of a kind gray, broad, and thin, that's highly durable. Used in construction, it's capable of altering its shape in accordance with changes in the forces it's subjected to, which serves to make the building more stable. The other mountain is abundant in loess. The miraculous village was built of rubble mixed with loess and mud. 67-year-old Wang Jiajun is the only person in the village with a university degree. He's a skilled architect and also an expert on the construction theories of the Chang village and watchtowers. Potassium nitrate is commonly referred to as nitre or saltpeter. Nitre varies according to the amount of potassium nitrate it contains, but the proportion is usually less than 10%. So the lowest in Taoping Chang village, which contains 20% potassium nitrate, is very rare. It's used in construction because of its outstanding ability to resist light, heat, and corrosion. Good nitre, if placed on burning charcoal, will sparkle. Oh,